What's going on out there everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with another awesome video for you guys. How to make money completely solo. Uh, unfortunately right now it's only working for PS4 but guys I'm working my hardest and staying active everywhere to try to find you know and try to hook everybody up on Xbox. Now for those of you who've been living under a rock for the past week or so what's been going on in the GTA 5 community is there are modded jobs going around. These jobs are created on old gen and they're brought over to new gen, all right? And what's happening is that you can actually join these jobs and get $10,000 per kill. That is legit, it really is happening. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to really dive into that and tell you guys everything you're gonna need to know about this so you guys can be prepared for it, all right? Uh, but firstly, uh, just so you guys know, the Hunter helicopter did come out today, so if you got money to blow, it costs like 4.1 or 4.2 mil. Uh, go ahead and buy it, upgrade it. That'll cost you another like, you know, million dollars probably just to upgrade it and do all the cool stuff to it. But yeah, if you got money to blow, you know, everybody's been waiting for this one. It's pretty cool. I even bought it, and I don't buy any of the new stuff really anymore. I didn't even buy the Cyclone. But I picked it up anyways, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of gameplay in this video. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go into everything about these modded jobs you need to know, and I mean everything, okay? So at the moment, there are only PS4 links coming out, okay? And when I say PS4 links, they're links to the social club where the job is located so that you can just add it to your game, and then it will be uh, added to your bookmark jobs under captures. These are captures as modded jobs. So, uh, shout out to the guys that have really been involved, man. Savage Crew, uh, Fart Crew, which is the crew I'm a part of, man. Shout out to all of you guys for really, you know, pushing these and coming out with these as fast as you've been doing. They've truly been running it for the last, you know, few days. So, shout out to all of those guys. Um, yeah, and I, I've been posting these links, guys. If they're not on YouTube, I've been posting these links actually on Twitter, okay? So, all these social club links. They're on Twitter, guys, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll leave my link for Twitter down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Go and follow me, guys. It doesn't take that long to make an account for Twitter. It's it's literally, if you've made an Xbox account or a PS4 account before, it takes less time to make an account for Twitter. I'm telling you. Just go follow me on Twitter. I'm always updating it. I'm very active now. I used to not be, but I definitely am. I answer people back on Twitter because, you know, I don't have 4,000-something followers over there. So I definitely answer a lot of people back. So make sure to go follow me on Twitter if you guys want to be updated for all of these jobs. Okay, so like I said, PS4 right now are the ones that are really benefiting off of this. They've been benefiting off of it since last weekend even before that so uh yeah right now it's pretty much all ps4 but uh there are other ways to get the jobs it's not just through links and through the social club if you guys have another youtuber that's on ps4 that you guys trust and you guys have their gamer tags you can actually go over to their recent activities and you can launch those games just through the recent activities so no job you know no job links requested or uh, or needed really so that is one way that you can do it without having to download, uh, you know, the game straight from or just add it to your game straight from the social club website. So keep that in mind. Now, for all of you Xbox guys, there's no way I'm going to forget about you where I'm on Xbox, too. So I got the info for you guys as well. A uh, big shout out to I Nicole or I Nickel for creating the only modded job for Xbox One. It came out very early yesterday. I got to play it for a few hours. And let me tell you, I made a new account and I was making bank. I made $300,000 per round, I kid you not. I didn't record any gameplay, I know I should have, and I could have probably used it for this video. But it was a pretty good job, you got to kill zombies. The zombies were just kind of, you know, falling down from the sky and everything. And they would, some of them would just die before the round even started. And right when, the, when it started, the cash would be all around you. So you'd actually be able to pick up all the cash. And you could pick up up to 100 Gs right when you started the match. So yeah, 10K per zombie. And sometimes 100K right when you started. You get automatically an assault shotgun. And you get a uh, minigun as well that you can pick up and just mow them down, man. It'll rank up your, uh, you know, your character when it comes to shooting. Uh, maybe stamina if you run enough. But guys, it's pretty legit. I'm not going to lie. So apart from that... I'm going to start moving on to the next stuff. So, uh, yeah, for these modded jobs, this is a quote from iNickel literally posted today, okay? And it reads like this. I'll put it on the screen and everything. If I can make a new modded capture, it will be released probably Wednesday, 11-22. iNickel Xbox, okay? 11-22, guys, that is tomorrow. Today is the 21st, so tomorrow 
they plan on releasing another modded, you know, Xbox capture job. If that is the case, you can bet your ass I will be live streaming it. Okay, if I can ex get the uh, link exclusively, uh, it'd actually be better that way because then the job won't get deleted at all and I can just bring people in and you guys can play. Uh, I have a method for you guys to get the job also without the link on Xbox. You would just have to join me, which is why I would do a live stream. But you can bet that I will be live streaming it for Xbox if it comes out. Okay, so here would be the method to get the job, all right, if I wasn't giving you a link. All right, to get the job, I would invite you guys to the capture with me. What you would be doing is that super easy solo public lobby glitch that we have for Xbox where you all you got to do is test your NAT type. All right. And when you're in the lobby with me, just test your NAT and that will load you guys into a lobby by yourself while you're still in that game. OK, so that you will be the host after that. And at that point, you can go ahead and invite your friends. If your Internet's a little screwed up, that's all good. Have your friend just stay in that job. You can go ahead and restart your game and he can invite you back. And boom, you got great Internet connection. Both you guys are in that job and both you guys are using it. All right. So that is the way to do it, guys. Uh, that's the way I will be doing it for Xbox. So I am hoping that it can come out tomorrow so that I will be doing a live stream and helping you guys make a buttload of money. All right. So. Once you guys have gotten your hands on these jobs, uh, there's a certain way that I do want to go over on how you want to set these up. Now, to set these jobs up, you want to set it to all points. So this is for PlayStation and for Xbox. So you PS4 guys that are doing it right now, uh, you want to make sure to set it to all points. You also want to set it to seven rounds. Once you set it to seven rounds, it's great because if if one of you guys wins, you know, if a different person wins the uh, the round every time, that means you can go so many rounds, let me tell you, because a lot of these captures, the one that I was doing, was only two players, which meant what you had to do is one person, uh, a different person won each round. And if that happens with two players, you guys can go on for 13 rounds and make money. Imagine 300k per round going 13 rounds each match. That's a lot of money. And uh, starting these up in an invite only session, if possible, is definitely the way to go as well. All right. And a uh, little little note also on most of these jobs, the first round, for some reason, doesn't drop money all the time. When I actually played the zombie one, the first round, when the zombie fell on me, it actually shot me under the map and I was in the water. So I just had to, you know, swim under the water, die, and I spawned back up. Nothing was happening. I just got the briefcase and I got it to the checkpoint. And uh, then the next round. All the zombies were on top. I was there with them, and then I started to get money, and they were dropping money as I killed them. So a lot of these captures are doing that. So make sure if you guys aren't getting the uh, you know money drops at all or anything like that, then what you want to do is go ahead and restart the game itself completely. That's if the job hasn't been deleted yet, okay? If the job has been deleted and you quit out of the job, that's it. It's done. You can't get back to there. So you must keep that in mind as well. But on most of these jobs, if you're not getting money by the first round, you should be getting money, you know, by the second round. So just finish that first round up, all right? So uh, this is the really important info, guys. Info about how much money to make and what to do with it. All right. So shout out to Mr. Mod. Uh, he actually put out this info and I kind of do agree with him. It seems pretty legit on how you should be able to follow this. I'll put it up on the screen now. It says uh, if you've been flagged and you can only sell one car a day, don't do the jobs. All right. The Rockstar bots will detect you. Basically, what that means is for those of you that are dirty dupers, the people that have, you know, sold too many cars or have dirty plates. And at this point, if you go to LSC and you sell one car and then you try to go sell another car, you know, within that same 30 hour period, if it's not letting you sell another car and it says you've reached your daily sell limit, you are in the one car a day, you know, sell club that those people you do not want to be able to do this, these jobs. Reason being Rockstar is already monitoring your accounts. If they're monitoring your accounts, then that means that they know if you're getting illegitimate money like this. OK, so keep that in mind. Uh, apart from that, you know, so you guys don't do these jobs at all. Create another account, you know, get another account that you guys don't care about or whatever, and then do the jobs on there. But accounts under level one to 40, you know, keep less than 40 million dollars in the bank. All right. So basically, whatever level you are, you want to keep that same amount in millions under. OK, under your level. All right. So accounts level 40 to 100, keep less than 100 million. 
accounts, you know, level 100 to 150, keep less than 150 million, and so on and so forth, okay? So just match that up to your level and the amount of millions that you should be under your level, okay? If you make insane amounts of money, this is what you should do with your money. Say you guys don't even care about these warnings, you don't want to heed them at all, and you want to do whatever you want to make as much money. Uh, you know, we can't stop you, but if you do, I recommend definitely buying X80s or oppressors and fill up your garages with them, okay? You want to do that so that at least if you get some sort of money wipe or anything like that, then you still have all those cars and oppressors in your garages and you can actually sell them. You are taking a bit of a hit, you're losing some money, but guess what? You got this money for basically doing nothing. So, even if they money wipe you, you have the money, you know, you have money in the bank basically in your garages that you can sell, you know, in the future, all right? So that's pretty much all the information I got for you guys. That's it for me. My name is Rolizi. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace.